Our next caller is Betty from Macon. Hi, Betty. Uh, hi. Hi, Betty. Go ahead uh, with your question. Yes. Um, I was in an accident uh, over two years ago, and we have uh, did the whatever before the, the, the two-year deadline. Filed and, a lawsuit. Yes. And I want to know how long will it take bef uh, since the time that I filed before I, you know, receive anything from the accident. Okay. okay. Betty, that could vary. Uh, I'm assuming that, that you've gotten over your injuries at this point, no longer under medical treatment. Yes, I'm still under medical treatment. You're still I'm, under medical treatment? It, well, it's, it's, it's probable. It's going to be a lifetime medical treatment. Okay, well, if you've reached maximum medical improvement, uh, your lawyer at this point in time can evaluate your claim. Uh, they will get all your medical records and they can then sit down with you, go over your claim and evaluate your claim. And I assume they probably tried to negotiate with the insurance company before they filed a lawsuit and were unsuccessful in doing so and that's why they filed the lawsuit. So once the lawsuit's filed, uh, the first thing that will happen is the other side will answer the lawsuit uh, your lawyer probably sent out what a, what a written, uh, they are called interrogatories, but they're written questions that go to the other driver that the other driver has to answer about the facts of the accident, what happened, a little bit of background information. And when they file an answer, uh, they will serve on you through your lawyer uh, similar written questions that you'll have to go into your, law off, your lawyer's office and answer those questions under oath for your lawyer. Uh, once that's done, the next thing that happens is there will be depositions taken of you and the other driver. And sometimes at that point, after everyone knows where they stand, a mediation may take place. Uh, if you're unsuccessful at mediation, then your lawyer will start getting medical testimony from your doctors and we'll present that in court. Uh, and it, you're probably a minimum of a year after the lawsuit was filed to upwards of two or three, depending yeah. upon the complexity of the case. It could be four or five. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, what, what Wendell is saying is, is that, is that you're, you can't really define the volume of your damages until you can define the volume of your injury. So you have to either achieve what is going to be your maximum medical improvement that you will maybe live with the rest of your life or not or, or get over whatever it is that's wrong with you. And then you can kind of, kind of evaluate the, the claim. But every case has a finite value and that value is what a jury will give in that case after they hear all the facts and evidence in the case. Uh, and, and that includes liability. You have to prove that the other side was at fault, that they caused your injuries, and then be able to show the jury what those injuries are and what the consequences of the injuries are. Uh, once you do that, the jury can evaluate your claim and, and, and decide what would be an appropriate amount of money to award in the case. Now, short of that, as Wendell says, your lawyer should be talking with the, the lawyers for the insurance company or the at-fault driver, working towards some kind of a settlement. Failing that, perhaps get in an independent mediator to help you all resolve the case. And then failing that, you go on to a jury trial and let a jury decide what your damages are. That's the way it works, and it can take quite... Opinions expressed on Law Call are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of 13 WMAZ staff or management, nor any legal or judicial entity. The legal information supplied in this broadcast is general information only and is not intended to be legal advice for any given situation. Do not rely on broadcast information without consulting an attorney. Contingent attorney's fees refers only to those fees charged by the attorneys for legal services. Such fees are not permitted in all types of cases. Court costs and other additional expenses of legal action usually must be paid by...